Hello, Scorpio. And welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin. And Scorpio, today we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now. Let's see what messages Spirit Guides want to pass along. Let's see what up with the Scorpio Collective. Spirit Guides, talk to us, talk to us. What does Scorpio need to know right now? Never ending story. Uh oh. So this represents a cycle. You can be a cycle with a person, with a situation. Let's see what's going on. But something be going round and round. You might be losing your patience with someone or something. Here's Scorpio. Let's get down to business. All right, let's see what you need to know right now. And Scorpio, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one, the link is in the description box below. We got the eight of wands. Okay, okay, we'll see what that means. We'll see what that means. That's what you need to know right now. How is this eight of wands going to affect Scorpio spirit guides? How is this going to affect them? Strength, okay? And their advice or what they need to hear is the Knight of Swords. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Aries, or excuse me, um, okay, I'm jumbled, can't talk. Uh, uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Six of Pentacles. So let's see what the Six of Pentacles means. Six of Pentacles typically is a card of charity. It's a card of giving back, but it can also represent a, a lack of um, balance between giving and receiving, which means you might be giving more. Um, someone might be able to take advantage of you. Let's see. What is this Eight of Wands energy for Scorpio? What do they need to know right now? What are you saying about this Eight of Wands here? All right. What do we got, Scorpio? We got the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Swords. We got the Six of Wands. Well, golly gee, you're moving towards success here. You're getting a lot of attention. There's a seven of pentacles and the nine of cups. So there's some kind of offer of opportunity. The eight of wands is an energy of moving forward. It's an energy of going somewhere you've never been before. It's an energy of going into uncharted territories. This cycle is over. You're letting this go. Are you looking back? A little bit, but that's okay. Look back and learn from that experience. Allow that experience, this never ending story, the cycle that you were caught in to allow you to grow, evolve, develop into the best version of yourself. Because you're walking through this portal of opportunities here, Scorpio. There's a new cycle. Um, the Six of Wands represents a very successful new cycle. This is communication of some kind of opportunity coming towards you. Opportunity that's going to make you very happy. You know, with the Seven of Pentacles energy, it's a card of reflection. It's a card of, um, well, it's a card of reflection, but it's also, you know, we, we talked about that looking back, but it's also a card of success. It's a card of going forward. It's a card of your hard work is going to pay off. <laughs> so it's a card of determination, a card of resilience, but it's really a card of investment. So um, this definitely could be the investment that you've been waiting for. Someone really wants to invest in you, but either way, you're getting attention, badass success, dreams come true, wish fulfillment, nine of cups is all about manifestations coming true, Scorpio. So a good offer, a good opportunity. Now this could, let's say this is about career. You might've been stuck in this pattern where you're getting low paying jobs or you weren't being paid the proper amount, or it was an energy where you were doing all the work and you weren't getting the recognition, but that's coming to an end. You're getting an opportunity that's going to change that energy for you and pull you out of this never ending story and get you into a new cycle here. Now strength is how it's going to affect you. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? What is it? How is it going to affect Scorpio here. What do you want to say? So we have the five of swords. We have the nine of swords. Whoa. Okay. And we have the lovers. Okay. Scorpio. There's the four pentacles. This is an energy of on a metaphysical level. The strength represents controlling our lower virtues, which are our worries, our anxieties, our fears, our imposter syndromes, our self doubts, our limiting beliefs. Remember a few things here. Number one in life, we manifest what we believe we deserve. We don't manifest what we want. We manifest what we believe we deserve. So you got to believe it with every fiber in your body, with every bone you have, that you deserve what you want in life. This is about letting go and turning your back on anxieties, worries, and fears. You might be worried about, mm, I don't know, let's say you've been at this job for 20 years. It's all you've known, but it really isn't working out for you. Let's say you've been in this relationship for 15 years. It's really not working out for you. That relationship could be a friend even, right? But this is about turning your back on your negative thoughts, worries, and fears. So this opportunity is going to propel you into an energy of worry and anxiety. So you might be worried you're not good enough. You might be worried it's not going to work out. You might have whatever those fears and worries are. They really want you to turn your back on them. The lovers is choosing yourself here, Scorpio. The lovers is a choice. Uh, that's what the lovers is. It's a decision to do what's best for you or a decision to do what's not best for you. And the message here is to do what's best for you. Um, but how it's going to affect you is a little bit of anxiety and worry. So the message is to, 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 to let go of that and have the courage and the strength to do what's best for you. 
Now, the Knight of Swords is your advice or what you want to hear. Knight of Swords is a card of forward movement, aggression, assertion, going after what you want. It's a card of achievement. What do you want to say about this Knight of Swords here? Knight of Wands in reverse. Ten. Uh, <laughs> well, damn. This Ace of... Wow, we go from the Ace to the Ten. Scorpio. This opportunity coming through is going to change your life. No exaggeration. It's going to bring you into the Ten of Pentacles energy. So if this is a career, money, 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 money. This is success. This is wealth. This is abundance. This is building a legacy for yourself, building a reputation. You may have already built a solid reputation, and now you're going to see the fruition of that energy, right? The Nine of Wands in reverse is let your wall down. The message here is let your guard down and go after this. Because this is the, the Knight of Swords is going after excellent. He's going after invention. He's in pursuit. And what are you in pursuit of? Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> now, this is love. So, sorry, let's go back to the career because with the Six of Pentacles here and career readings, this is about charity. This is about having enough at the end of the paycheck, at the end of the month to give back to those less fortunate, whether it's time, energy, and money. It doesn't matter. You should always give 10% back when you can, at least. Um, and this is an energy of having the opportunity to do that. We are not always everybody in the position to do that. Sometimes we're in the position of needing that help, right? So it's just that energy of giving back when you can, but it's the message that you'll have enough to give back here. And if this is love, if this is a relationship, this is going from an opportunity to long-term commitment. And the message is to make sure you don't rush into things and just make sure that it's an equal give and take, right? You don't want to move in with someone and then you're paying 80% of everything and they're not paying anything. And that's not fair. That's not equal give and take. That's just going to create resentment and frustration. So this is going from the ace to the 10. This is an excellent opportunity an opportunity that will change your life here, Scorpio. Um, and the message here is to go for this. Take this leap of faith. Go for it. Let go of any imposter syndrome. If you don't think you're good enough, you are good enough. Have faith in the energies and the work that you've done within yourself because you are good enough. Like I said, you're going to manifest what you believe. So you got to believe it, baby. Um, and you better believe it. <laughs> this is an awesome opportunity for you, Scorpio. You're coming out of this never ending story. Whatever that circle was that you were trapped in, it is done. So that's what we got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. Let's grab some more. Let's see what they want to say. And we'll get back to the tarot, baby. So guys, what does Scorpio need to surrender to? Inner peace. Okay. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditated moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes and your life will flow more easily. All right. Energy Oracle message for Scorpio. Energy Oracle message, spirit guides. What do you want to say here? Seven shocker, Archangel. <gasps> Whoa, Scorpio, damn, the yin and the yang, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, you are Scorpio, very intuitive sign, you're a water sign here, but the seventh chakra in the, in the goddess of the moon, this is all about your ability to receive intuition, downloads. You could even be a medium or you could see through the veil, see the other side, but this is really, trust your intuition because you are a very powerful person. Do not doubt that. Now, the yin-yang is upright, which represents the yin cycle, which represents being a little bit more reflective, a little bit more passive. It's really about silencing your mind, getting into that feminine energy here and trusting your intuition. Your intuition might have told you that something big was coming. You know, you just get that feeling like you just know something is coming and something great's about to happen. It is. <laughs> and your intuition was right and you're going to love it. Um, I do want to grab the soul card. I feel for many of you, we are talking about career and finances here, but this will apply to those that are. If you're, if we're not and you're talking about love, you know, I mean, you could listen to this part or you can just disregard it. But what's the soul card here for Scorpio? Yeah, I knew you were a builder. I could feel that. Your innate ability to build and create, uh, sorry, your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment and study. So reading, research, education help to gain confidence and clarity about your career. All right, so Scorpio, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. When I say outcome, where are you in a month, baby? How you doing? How you feeling? How's this opportunity going? How are things going? I'm just going to move this because it's in my way. It's going to bug me. So let's get your potential outcome here, Scorpio. Spirit guides. How Scorpio. We got the Ten of Swords in reverse. Damn, Skippy. Damn. We got Death. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, baby. Okay, hold on. Two more cards here. I think that was the star. 
Is that the star? What is that? Oh my goodness, it is the star, baby. You're the star of the show, Scorpio. You're the star of the show. I mean, it is your show. It's your movie. It's your life, right? You should be the star. You are the main character. Page of Pentacles. Oh, you've learned your lessons. Damn straight. Okay, here's the thing. So the Page of Pentacles in reverse represents learning your lessons. The Page of Pentacles is always a lesson in reverse. Like when it's in reverse for me as a reader, you've learned the lesson. You've gotten yourself out of this rut, out of this cycle, out of that circle. Whatever that energy is, it's done. Done like dinner. Put a fork in it. Bam! Scorpio ain't going back. Scorpio is only going forward. The Nine of Pentacles just talks about how abundant and independent you are. We got the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles in this reading, which just represents a balanced Scorpio between the spiritual and the material, right? You know, we all get excited about money, 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 but money really doesn't buy us happiness. It makes life easier. It doesn't make anyone happy. Money and spirituality, creating that balance. Money and socialization, we're social creatures. Creating that balance in our life is what creates that happiness. There's some major healing taking place here. Um, you've been through some shit. What the fuck have you been through here, Scorpio? But the Ten of, Ten of Swords in reverse, the Star and the Nine of Wands tells us that you're not looking back. You were the wounded warrior. You've been through some shit. People probably took advantage of you. You probably had some rough times here, but the swords are gone. The healing has taken place. The fact is when we run across these situations, these experiences, we only feel it for 90 seconds. After that, if we continue to feel that emotion, it's the memory keeping it alive. It's the lack of healing. And that's not what's happening here. You have healed. You have learned your lesson. You're moving forward in a very abundant manner. I do feel you're single though. So for those of you where this is love, I'm not so sure you're taking that energy. I feel you've been there, done that, not going back. And then for those of you where this is career and finances, you are the star, baby. Your manifestations have come true. Um, the hard work you've put in is coming through. Um, you've created a balance within yourself. You've created that independence and that abundance. You're in a very good place. You're very happy with where you are. The end of that cycle is done, Scorpio. That's what you need to know right now. You're moving to uncharted territories. You got an opportunity here that's going to change things for you, and you're going to love it. You're going to like where you are heading. And again, that star is an energy of being vulnerable. It's an energy of being raw, but it's an energy of hopes and wishes and dreams come true. Wishes fulfilled, baby. Your wishes are being granted. So Scorpio, that's what you need to know right now. That's what's up. That's what's going on. If you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Scorpio. Truly, I do. Let's get your yes or no question to close off your reading today. Spirit guides, yes or no, what's the answer for Scorpio? No. That's what I got, baby. Scorpio, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.